Follow me on Instagram at Stabberbri. <laughs> what, Breeze? Okay. <clears throat> and she be dealing with some issues that you can't believe. Single black female and big to retail. my channel if you're new here my name is Bruce Lee follow me on Instagram at stop by Bruce Lee so we can keep connected so today I went decided that oh uh, I want to do a sit down video because I have so many vlog videos and it's just like you don't care about that so <laughs> my audience really loves when I sit down and talk to you guys about different topics and you know just teach you guys and inform you guys on different you know life aspects whether it's a job um well there's a job there is about um college you know stuff like that so um i decided i wanted to film a video about being a pastor's kid uh i think y'all don't know that much about me personally um i mean maybe you guys like heard me say it in like vlogs if you've watched my vlogs before but i don't really talk about um how it is being a pastor's kid a pk so um I have three younger sisters and they might all have a uh, different viewpoints on how it is being a pastor's kid but um yeah um I just I don't know I, I just felt like God was like just share your story share how it is um and how um different it is being a preacher's kid so yeah if you guys would like to see like my viewpoint and my standpoint and just my experience as a preacher's kid just keep on watching <laughs> my parents are pastors um my dad became a pastor i i want to say he didn't officially become a pastor and um until like a year before I was born so I was born into this um <clears throat> there's uh been a lot of there are a lot of pros and cons of being a preacher's kid um I personally through my experience and how my parents are I think it's personally more pros than cons um but uh like I said everybody's experience is different I don't know any one else whose parents are pastors of a church but um so i've never really had to had the ability to talk to other pks um around me but uh, the enemy trying to send me a little distraction so i don't get through this video mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. anyway so yeah there are a lot of pros and cons of being a pk um in my personal experience um, growing up um, a lot of pros that I had was um, automatically okay so okay so when I say this I don't mean it like you have to be a Christian just because your parents are pastors um, but these errors just don't want me to be great like that I automatically was born into being a christian um being a christian is not a re not necessarily a religion in my eyes it's a lifestyle i i Brees lie chose to believe in god and i chose to believe that jesus is my savior and that he died on the cross for me um <clears throat> Yes, um, as a preacher's kid, you're kind of um, born into it, but your personal choice is your personal choice. Um, if you want to believe in Jesus and believe that he saved you, then that's your personal choice, even as a preacher's kid. Um, and I think kind of a lot of people get that mixed up um, as in like, oh, you were forced. Like, yes, I didn't really have a choice of going to church, but... I could have also, like, honestly, I honestly personally didn't get saved, like, saved until I moved out of my house, of my parents' house. Um, so, 
I think that that is a pro that my parents chose to automatically um, put us in that um, not lifestyle but kind of put us a, in that environment of going to church um, reading our Bible of uh, praying um, worshiping uh, around um, other people who believed in Jesus so um, I think that's a huge pro um, but like I said I didn't um, understand it back then when I was younger I did not understand it when I was growing up I just felt like I was just forced like I loved God but I did and I believed in God but I didn't really have a relationship with him until I got older um so when I was little I just thought of it as a routine like I really like I'm not gonna say I didn't like church <laughs> But it kind of was like, mm, I can't really connect with a lot of stuff that um, my dad was saying. I couldn't, con I couldn't connect uh, about a lot of stuff um, that we were praying about. Just because when you're younger, um, like, yes, when you're growing up, you go through, like, childhood stuff and pain and stuff like that. But pain is different when you get older. I feel like um, so a lot of the things that my dad was talking about wasn't that relatable at a, at that time but now that I look back <laughs> and now that I've been through way more as an adult um, and I'm only 23 I'm about to be 24 years old so I just I can't imagine about just I just can't imagine what I'm going to experience and go through throughout life when I'm older so, um, I say that just because, um, I feel like a lot of people have a, um, different opinion on being a pre preacher's kid and that, um, they feel like they were, um, probably forced to have a relationship with a God just because their parents are parent, their parents are pastors. Um, but I personally felt like that when I was little. I felt like I did have a little understanding of God and I did have a little small, small relationship with him. But at the same time, I felt like it was a very like, I have to do this because my, my parents are pastors. So um, yeah, that's just a pro that, um, pro for me now that I had a little relationship and I had a little understanding of who God is and his word um, when I was little. So I think that's a very positive thing about being a preacher's kid. Um, also, I think that um, a positive, another positive about being a preacher's kid is that I met a lot of people growing up like a lot of people like when your parents are pastors of course they're going to um, want to form a, some type of relationship with the pastors um, so um, and that's outside of church so um, a lot of my parents friends had kids um, my age and I um, built a lot of friendships slash relationships with a lot of people that went to my church that were the same age as me so um that's definitely a positive even though like a lot of them aren't my friends anymore um I did grow up and you know build that kind of friendship outside of built friendships outside of school as well so that was definitely a positive thing about being a preacher's kid um and just a kid at church in general when it comes to positives like there are a lot of positives it's just they're kind of the same of just any you know any person growing up in church um what I, like all of those positives that people have of just going to church of just like meeting new people fellowshipping with other people um you know building a relationship with god i think those are just um a couple of positives of being a preacher's kid now there are cons to being a preacher's kid um the first one i could think off the top of my head <laughs> um is when you are a preacher's kid you kind of have to um, filter yourself a little bit um 
so for me personally I know for me personally uh, that has been such a rough patch for me as um, also being a social media influencer um, it's very easy to get wrapped up in like I guess Mm -hmm. I guess worldly stuff um, when you're on social media and when you are an influencer so um, I guess I wouldn't say this is like a con but it's kind of like something that I'm just like it's kind of a lot you know what I mean like it's kind of something like sometimes I'm like I wish I didn't have to cut out some some stuff about me just because I'm a preacher's kid like I know that since I'm a preacher's kid, I represent my parents and I represent their church. So a lot of um, stuff I can't post. Um, not like it's not like not like super bad stuff, but like I try to refrain from like me drinking because y'all know I do drink, um, but I don't sh like show myself drinking on social media like that. Um, especially YouTube um, just because I just don't want to present myself um, as that type of girl um, I, it's not like I drink all the time I don't even like drinking to begin with but like you know I might have like a little cute drink you know what I'm saying but it's a lot of stuff that I have to filter myself um, a lot of like I, I'm not even gonna lie I do cuss <laughs> but um, I do have to filter myself a lot with that as well because I mean, I'm working on it. I'm still growing as a person. I'm still growing within the kingdom of God. So, me cussing, uh, I know I have to <laughs> chill out on that. But, um, it's just like stuff like that. Like, I I don't, I like, I feel like I just have to filter myself a lot. Um, a lot of the music that I play on my social media, that I put on my social media, my mom used to be like, J put the clean version, put the clean version, you know what I mean? And just sometimes I'm just like, well, I can't just be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, I guess that just kind of, um, I, I just think that kind of sets me apart from a lot of um, other influencers as well. Um, there are a lot of influencers that are, um, you know, Christian, but they're not like up here, up here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I just aim to be different. Um, I'm kind of understanding um, a little bit more as to why. Um, well, I'm kind of understanding as to what my purpose is um, uh, a little bit more each and every day. So um, I guess I am just going through that that transitioning stage of not trying to be like everybody else but you know what I mean like but not being so worldly as a social media influencer so I guess it's not a con but it used to be a con um that I had to kind of filter myself on social media just because um I represented my dad and his church and also because I'm a Christian I should um anyway set myself apart so um, so I guess another con of, um, being a preacher's kid is everybody want to be in your business. Like, <laughs> like, okay, so not now, but, um, when I was little, when you are a preacher's kid and I, I mean, I guess from my experience, when you are a preacher's kid, everybody thinks that they're your parent. So, um, I grew up with a, not a lot, but I grew up with a few comments, like, just because you're the preacher's kid doesn't mean blah, 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 blah. Like, I hated that. <laughs> like, I didn't ask for this, you know what I'm saying? Like, God decided that my parents were going to be pastors, and I just so happened to be their kid. Like, <laughs> so, um, another con is that a lot of people come in your life, I mean, I guess... I guess this is just life in general, but when you are a preacher's kid, you get a little bit more. Um, a lot of people come in your life and they leave right after. Like, they come for two seconds and then they're gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, when 
you are a preacher's kid if you you know like I'm, I'm gonna just be real with y'all when in church there are a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes with people um a lot of stuff that um you know just goes on personally um my parents their role um in a church um not is not only to give god's word but to also kind of be like a mentor or kind of like um, my parents do relationship counseling as well um so that, that's just a huge role to just deal with people in general all the time um even when they're not at church there are people calling just trying to get advice on you know life and you know just what just prayer on what they're going through in life um they're kind of like spiritual spiritual counselors in a sense um and that's a huge role to fulfill so um a lot of people's personality or ego uh like to get in the way sometimes when my parents are doing that um and growing up i had to see that i had to uh watch a lot of people come in and out of the church um i had to watch a lot of people lie on my parents um and try to bring their name down just stuff like that you know what i'm saying like i don't know if that goes on in every church but i know it goes on in most churches you know what i'm saying like even though like church is supposed to be like that place where it's just happy and you meet all these new people and that's what it is but there are some some negatives to it as well so i personally had to you know as a as a little kid i didn't understand it um but you know now that i'm older i, I definitely do um realize what's going on behind the scenes um and it's not all bad it's not definitely not all bad but i just think that a con is that i had to not that my parents told me everything but like I was a nosy child, so I would, you know, hear phone calls, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, God doesn't give you those type of situations just because he thinks that you're not going to handle it um, correctly. No, he knew my parents were the ones to be, I mean, they were the right ones. They were chosen to, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like my parents uh, grew up saying, oh, I want to be a pastor. No. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um there are, are a lot of pros and cons of just being in church in general um but overall i would not change it for the world god wanted me to grow up obviously and be this you know influencer and just teach people about my experience within the church and within um you know just being a christian in general and having a relationship with god so i think that's very important i think i did my job today <laughs> um but yeah it's it's a lot that goes into it um i i just overall don't think it's a it was a bad experience just because my parents are aren't they're more like relaxed like they're more lenient um on me and my sisters um i definitely felt like i was sheltered um when i was growing up but now that i look back i'm like nah i was not shut that sheltered you know what i mean like I, like when you grow up and you meet other people and how they grew up you like oh well maybe my parents weren't that bad <laughs> like you know what i mean so um yeah um those are my pros and cons of being a preacher's kid if you guys have any questions about god in general i'll do my best to help um if you guys um are thinking about um just you know going to church or just you know like i said starting a relationship with jesus christ dm me on instagram comment down below i love i love being a believer i love um being a christian and it does have its hardships and it does you know i mean life has its hardships in general but i just think my better my life has just been way better with him you know what i'm saying so 
yeah I just wanted to share with you guys on my little experience I just, it's just very brief experience of being a preacher's kid and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did share it thumbs it down if you didn't it don't matter you you watched it <laughs> um and subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at style by and i'll see you guys on my next video Bye.